know, the spot where Christ was born. And um, I uh, had trouble identifying with that because that image in my mind is the image I had in Southern Illinois as a boy, old little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. It is not the same. Uh, that, that, you see, my own, uh, in my own mind is, is the, the real thing, and I, I couldn't put the two together too well, although I knew I was on the spot. I, um, I couldn't equate the two, because there's too much action there. <laughs> Does Christmas have a deep meaning for you? Oh, yes. Yes, it does, because it is more than the celebration and the uh, ancient basis, you know, of the winter solstice and all of that. Um, the scripture all has a meaning. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Uh, that has a meaning to me which is uh, the uh, bringing of the two parts of man together. When we're born, we're born with two pieces, the anema and the anemus. And along the way, someplace, we've got to bring them together. And that is when we uh, uh, the, are reborn. Are they brought together at different times for different people? Oh, yes, and in different ways. But um, as uh, Jung says, this, this is called individuation in his uh, psychology. But uh, some people would call it uh, uh, a reborn Christian, another person would call it something else. But it is bringing the two parts of yourself together to move forward and uh, 